Welcome to DIYEasyCrafts.com. How to fix a leaking boiler overpressure relief valve. Now, if your boiler is dripping water uh, consistently, uh, mine was actually producing about five gallons of water a day, most likely the source is going to be the overpressure relief valve uh, or the expansion tank, uh, which is usually located just above it. Now, I actually called a plumber in to take a look at this and give me an estimate on repairing uh, the system. And to replace the overpressure relief valve, um, the expansion tank, and an additional valve, he was going to charge over a thousand dollars. Just ridiculous. I went to a local plumbing supply house, uh, bought the, the two components that I, that I really needed, which was the overpressure relief valve uh, and the expansion tank. And with tax, I spent, I think it was $96.36. So doing this yourself is very easy, and you can literally save hundreds of dollars. So first off, um, if your boiler is leaking and dripping consistently, first just try to play with that overpressure relief valve a little bit. There's a little tab on the end of it. Sometimes just resetting that, that valve can stop the leak. Uh, if that doesn't fix the problem, uh, then it's best to change not only just the valve, but also the expansion tank. Now sometimes you can tap on the expansion tank and, and tell whether there's water in it. If there's water in it, then the expansion tank is definitely bad. Um, you may want to just change the expansion tank and not change uh, the uh, overpressure relief valve, but it's an easy enough job and an expensive enough job. You start by turning off the burner. Then you're going to find uh, the water into the burner and turn off the water supply to the burner. The next step in the repair is going to be to drain the system or drain the burner. There's usually a uh, valve located at the very bottom, a drain valve. Lock it underneath it. Turn on. Um, this is going to take a little bit of time. I, I think I'm going to lock it back out. Of water before it starts to dribble out. Okay, so that one's done. Now we're going to. You can't really walk away from it. You have to stay with it uh, because that five gallon bucket will fill up pretty quickly. And you will have to turn off the valve and empty that bucket. Um, once the system's drained, um, it's very simple. I mean, you can relieve. I'm just unscrewing an additional um, extension uh, pipe that they had on the bottom of my relief valve. So I remove that, and then um, I'll remove the actual valve itself. Um, my plan was basically to remove both the overpressure relief valve and the expansion tank, and take both with me to the plumbing supply house, so that they could uh, give me the exact duplicate parts that I needed. The overpressure relief valve just screws off. You will need to pick up some Teflon tape in addition to uh, the valve and the expansion tank. Now the valve, oh I'm sorry, the expansion tank uh, just screws off, but you have to be a little bit careful. Um, if it does have water in it, um, and it sometimes they're completely filled with water, they can be very heavy. Um, it, and it's a little it caught me by surprise at how heavy this tank was, probably 30 or 40 pounds. Um, so spin it off with two hands and make sure you're ready for the weight. Now, of course, if the tank is empty, it will weigh hardly anything. But the fact that it had water in it basically means that that tank is bad. You get a little bit of dripping out uh, of the system when you remove that tank. Now, these are the replacement parts. Um, I went to the plumbing supply house. Uh, they gave me a, a new overpressure relief valve, wrapped, uh, wrapped the pipe with a little bit of Teflon tape, screwed it into position, and used a wrench to tighten it up. Don't tighten this overly tight. Uh, it's just a brass fitting, and you, you can certainly crack it if you, uh, if you over tighten it. Also replace the extension uh, pipe that comes out the bottom and just make sure the water goes into the bucket and not all over the place and then I'm going to replace the expansion tank uh, same thing with the expansion tank just a little bit of uh, Teflon tape on the threads and then this just screws into position
the Teflon tape is just to assure that it uh, that the threads themselves don't leak. The new tank is much lighter because it's not filled with water. This just screws into position and you can just use a wrench to tighten it up a little bit. Once that tank uh, is on and snug, you can then kind of reverse the sequence. Um, you want to put the water back on, make sure that there is still a bucket underneath that drain. Put the water back on to uh, the burner or to the boiler. Now I, I took out probably close to three or four gallons of water. I just wanted to let some run through the system to make sure there wasn't any air pockets. Uh, then you can turn off that valve. And at this point you're ready to turn the burner back on. So here the burner is back on. Um, I've checked for leaks. There's no water coming out of the overpressure relief valve. There's no water coming out of the uh, threads to the valve or the threads to the expansion tank. Uh, so the repair is complete and literally saved hundreds of dollars. Please check us out on the web at DIYEasyCrafts.com. Be sure to check out our other how-to videos. And if you like this video, I ask that you please like and subscribe to this YouTube channel.